Excellencies, uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's a privilege for me, on behalf of the three organizations, to welcome you all to this global forum of freedom of expression. The Minister of Foreign Affairs in Norway, Mr. Jonas Garstøre. Welcome. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and let me, on behalf of the government, welcome you, a heartily welcome, to Oslo this week. I salute you for continuing to fight and to write despite of formidable obstacles. You continue to exercise this noble human right, the freedom of speech. Please keep on reporting, writing, witnessing, commenting with your pens, computers, microphones, tapes and cameras. I hope you will have a great week in Oslo. I wish you every success. And I have the honor to officially open the Global Forum on Freedom of Expression. Thank you for your attention. Thank you so much. I know it's getting serious. First out is Lydia Cacho from Mexico, please. I want to dedicate this morning to Sir Callum Fassi. So here's to Sir Callum. We all dream alive to be alive to see that day. We all dream as young to dance for freedom. Meanwhile, let's celebrate life and freedom. Thank you. Thank you so much. Said Callum Fassi is an Ethiopian journalist and unfortunately, she was not given the possibilities to be with us as planned today. But she has sent us her speech, which will be read by the Chilean Norwegian actor Alexandra Koren from Actors for Human Rights. In 2005, I was in prison along with many other journalists, opposition leaders and civil society members. What made my case unique was that I was pregnant at the time. And despite numerous appeals to set me free, the Ethiopian Prime Minister Meles Senawi refused, and I gave birth to my first child in prison. The support expressed on my behalf not only helped me, but also my unborn child. I am eternally grateful. Ethiopia shall be free from tyranny. Thank you, and God bless you. I found the two sessions very good for me. One of them is the opening session because that brought uh, people from different countries, people from uh, Kenya, especially Professor Wangari Madai, uh, people from Afghanistan, people who've gone through, uh, who've suffered a lot because of freedom of expression. I believe in inspiring words of Dr. Martin Luther King. Our lives began to end the day we become silent about things that matter. Freedom is never voluntarily given by the oppressor. It must be demanded by the oppressed. Thank you very much. And finally, the Nobel Peace Prize laureate a world famous environmental and political activist from Kenya. Ladies and gentlemen, give a warm welcome to Dr. Wangari Matai. Those who don't know can sleep in peace, but those of us who know must express it. And in the words of that famous German priest, the freedom of expression, we must speak up because otherwise there may be nobody to speak for us. Thank you very much. And I found also the use of uh, freedom of expression and how technologies can be used to enhance that, make sure that uh, they, they, we, we enhance freedom of expression wherever we come from. 
The session I, I particularly enjoyed was one on propaganda in conflict zones. This is extremely important. As a journalist, my challenge is basically um, reporting on the, the government's um, activities and making sure when they don't follow uh, the proper procedures to make sure that they get back on track. Um, I think that's basically the summary of my job in this whole night. <laughs> I was a volunteer of the conference to know something about the freedom of expression. I think the conference is, is, is nice and uh, I just learned something and to communicate with people. The last three, day, three, three days have been wonderful. The session I moderated on silence women's voices was quite exceptionally wonderful. My grandmother made friends with an ambulance driver. She's on tape saying that I like this man. I will have a child with him who is my mother, but I don't like him for his bandy legs and I hope my, my child <laughs> won't have bandy legs. And I said, she say these things? She was more liberated than I am. Freedom of expression is the foundation to safeguard that human rights, rule of law, and also democracy could be safeguarded. And therefore, I treasure this opportunity to be able to share my experience, my thoughts and analysis with other friends from other parts of the world. So international solidarity is of utmost importance for us to ensure that democracy could be realized in different parts of the world. Well, actually, I'm looking forward to talking uh, to uh, journalists and organizations uh, representing journalists to speak with them and see uh, what they, uh, well, what their ideas and plans are. I'm here representing Free Voice as a donor, so uh, so I would like to know what they think we should be focusing on. And, uh, yeah, I want to hear their voices so we know what to do. I've met many, many people involved in the, and NGOs involved in the, in the in the struggle for when uh, freedom of expression is concerned. It's been very much learning and I'm uh, finding out that lots of people are very active for the human rights, which is very good. 